Mmm, la Ferrari SF75, my favorite F1 2022 car. And as a cherry on the cake, I have here the BBR and Luxmart versions of the Charles Leclerc 2022 Ferrari SF75 in scale 118. And I thought it would be a good time to do another brand comparison. So welcome to this new video and let's not waste any time and get right into it then. Let's first have a look at the main differences before we get into the details. So the BBR is a die-cast model and the Luxmart is resin. In essence, it's another Minichamps vs Spark video, as the BBR model has been made in collaboration with Minichamps and the Luxmart model is actually made by Spark. This has to do with the usage of the exclusive Ferrari license of some particular brands. For instance, Minichamps is supposed to look after the distribution for the BBR models in Europe. They themselves don't have a Ferrari license, but BBR does. So since 2016, they collaborated on a series of diecast 118 Formula 1 models, something Minichamps has a lot of experience with already. As BBR was mainly focused on resin models, it made sense to work together with an established brand in that field. The models are still made by BBR, but they use a lot of Minichamp stuff and vice versa. The BBR models are still a bit more finely detailed than the Minichamps though. The same kind of deal has been struck in between Spark and Luxmart, although here is just the use of the Ferrari license, so essentially the Luxmart Ferrari Formula 1 models have been made by Spark. The only improvement Luxmart added was the real steering wheel, as Spark still uses the same generic steering wheel to this day. The Luxmart Ferraris did have the correct bespoke steering wheels before, although this time, weirdly enough, they reverted back to using the generic spark wheels again, but more about that later on. Even though the models are based on different races, the BBRs from the Bahrain season opener and the Luxmart version is based on the Austrian Grand Prix winner, I think it's still a valid comparison as the car didn't change too much in the meantime. If there is a particular race specific part, this will be mentioned and taken into account when comparing both models. The style of the packaging couldn't be more different, as the BBR version I have here is the standard version without the plinth and display case. The Luxmart does come with a display case, the same style they always use. And this is reflected in the price, as the Luxmart version is slightly more expensive. The difference however is just minimal and the cost of a standalone display case would surpass that amount, so you could argue the Luxmart is better value for money. However, if you don't need a display case, you have to pay extra for something you won't use. There is a more luxurious version of the BBR though, with a leather plint and display case. The model is exactly the same as the standard version though. The price then in turn is uh, again much higher than the Luxmart, so if you want a display case, the Luxmart is a cheaper option. So the box of the Luxmart is much nicer than the BBR. It comes in this uh, nice looking sleek black box with a Ferrari logo on it of course. The way it opens up is really nice too, a bit like a shoes box. This flap on the lower part then comes down and reveals the model and display case safely wrapped in this protective pouch. After taking away all the protective straps and mousse, you're greeted with a beautiful model car in a nice looking display. The base looks great too with the velour texture under the model. The only downside I noticed is the off-center plaque, which I think is a bit annoying. The model then can easily be unscrewed from the base by these uh, three screws underneath. The BBR model then comes in a much cheaper looking package. It just has a white sleeve around it with the BBR logo embossed in it. The main box itself is the same they have been using for quite some time now with the Ferrari logo on it, the Italian flag and these silhouettes of some cars the brand has to offer. The model itself then comes in this uh, styrofoam clamshell and can be unscrewed from the base with these uh, clever fixings you can undo by hand. So packaging wise I think the Luxmart clearly has it compared to the uh, standard BBR. I'm sure the luxury BBR is even better still, but given it's almost 100 euros more expensive than the Luxmart, I don't think it's worth the difference. At first sight, there's not a lot of difference in between the two versions. The models are very similar to one another, although I did notice that the Luxmart is ever so slightly darker than the BBR. I'm not sure if this is accurate or not, but in fact, it's so faintly visible, it's not actually very important, I would say. 
if you would look at them separately, you wouldn't even notice there is a difference there. The helmets on the figurines are also quite different in color. I would say um, this is more noticeable than the color of the car. The Luxmart helmet is much darker and seems to be slightly smaller too. Another thing I noticed straight away are the cuts in the front wing cascades on the Luxmart model. Now that these parts are attached all the way to the nose again, it's easier to do, keeping some uh, structural integrity on these parts. I don't think the BBR front wing looks bad though. It has some nice details on it as well, but these cuts are a must for me for a premium brand. In contrast, the rear wing on the BBR has a cut in the upper flap, which is missing on the Luxmart. And I don't get why Luxmart or Spark didn't go for a cut here, as it's much easier to make one big cut compared to all these small ones at the front. The tires then are very different too. Of course, both models are on different compounds, but the sidewalls are more detailed on the BBR with these fine textured lines. And this is something BBR had done in the past on their previous models too. And Mini Champs are now using the same tires on their F1 2022 model cars. The BBR model also has rotating wheels, but no steering. The wheels on the Luxmart are in a fixed position. So yeah, these are the main differences that are noticeable at first glance. So we already know the packaging of the Luxmart gives it a much more premium feel over the BBR. On the Model 2, the front wing is nicer with these cutout cascades and these fine photo etched uh, slot gap separator parts. Also the side view of the end plates is much nicer because of these cuts. Other parts I think are better on the look smart are the cooling louvers in the curved top part of the side pod. Again it's not that they look bad on the BBR, I just think they look slightly better on the look smart. The holes in the side pod inlets are better too, as they are a bit too shallow I think on the BBR. Above that, these small strakes hanging from the mirror supports are really nice too, and don't feature on the BBR as, well, it wasn't on the real car either in Bahrain. I also really like this small bright yellow dot, only on the left side too of the side pod in the Shell logo, which was there during some races. Another thing Luxmart has done a better job on are these two-tone carbon fiber camera pods on the nose. The pedo tube on the top of the nose then is in this very fine material and looks much better than uh, BBR's plastic effort. I also prefer the white outline on the driver's numbers, but this is one of these race specific things I was talking about, just like the yellow dot on the side pod. At the Bahrain Grand Prix where the BBR model is based on, the numbers didn't have these outlines yet. The same can be said for the bargeboard floor parts, let's say. They look uh, bigger and nicer on the look smart but they just look like that in Austria as opposed to the smaller versions from the Bahrain Grand Prix. I also prefer the way this small gap here looks in the floor in front of the rear wheels. Here too it's different than on the BBR as it had evolved quite a bit during the season, but the execution is better I think than what BBR has done on theirs. This fine metallic strengthening rod then looks uh, great and is a bit more refined and less shiny than on the BBR version. Moving on to the wheels then, and uh, the wheel nuts on the Luxmart model have different colors on either side. And although this looks good, it's not entirely correct, as on the real car the wheel nut did have different colors, but just a small ring instead of a fully colored nut base, let's say. Finally then, the exhaust detail is better on the Luxmart. It has the more correct silvery color as opposed to BBR's shiny golden one. When looking at it from the back, you'll also notice it's more hollowed out. And there is a small waste gay pipe inside, which is not featured on the BBR. The heat shield underneath the pipe looks good too, and is again not on the BBR, but this might be another race specific detail, I'm not really sure. The small metallic support rods then connecting the crash structure with the uh, diffuser and floor is a nice detail too, which is only featured on the Luxmart. The rear wing end plates then also feature the small LED lights, and this is something Spark does too. Well, this doesn't come as a surprise as they are also the manufacturer of this Luxmart model, of course. So yeah, the Luxmart model has a lot going for it. So let's see what BBR can put on the table with theirs. So the packaging style puts the BBR on the back foot, I think, but we're now concentrating more on the model itself, of course. Although it shouldn't matter too much, the BBR model is a bit heavier and thus feels a bit more qualitative when holding it. 
The BBR doesn't have the cutout cascades in the front wing as I mentioned before, but uh, it does have these small photo etched parts on it, like on the Luxmart. Definitely doesn't look as good, but uh, not bad either. The way the small tire sensors are fitted on the inside of the front wing end plates look a bit better on the BBR, I think. The nose tip is also slightly better. I like the way the triangular shape of the tip blends into the main plane of the front wing. On the Luxmark model this looks different, as if the nose has been added later on. This panel gap under the NACA duct is a bit too pronounced though on the BBR, but I actually easily fixed it on my model by filling in the gap. The duct itself looks uh, much nicer on the BBR version. The wheel details too are better on the BBR I think. We've touched on the tire sidewalls already, but also the wheel nuts look more realistic, although BBR forgot to add the colored rings. The wheel discs too look uh, a bit better on the BBR. The wheel brows then look better too, with a fine cut in the Snapdragon logo creating the illusion of a cutout slit. The antennas were a bit more refined on the Luxmart, but this small neutral button on the top of the tub is nicer on the BBR with this photo etched part as opposed to a normal decal on the Luxmart. Although I prefer the uh, layout of the floor of the Luxmart, mainly because it uh, features a better looking aero package from another race, the way the floor on the BBR looks like is um, much better I think. On the Luxmart it looks as if the floor has been added uh, on the side of the cockpit later on, whereas it should be this, uh, let's say, flowing uninterrupted part. I also like this uh, small detail on the side pot at uh, mirror support, something uh, that's not featured on the Luxmart. The side pot inlets are a bit too shallow though, as I mentioned. This is better on the Luxmart. Funnily enough, it's the other way around for the airbox intake. The cockpit details on the BBR are better, I think. The helmet is slightly bigger, not sure which is more correct here, but the color of the Luxmart helmet looks a bit too dark. The golden visor is something BBR took over from uh, Minichamps, and I think it looks a bit too much. I appreciate the improvement over Minichamps' previous visor decals, but this is just a golden leaf sheet, not really resembling a tint. The details of the belts is better on the BBR too, and so is of course the steering wheel. Minichamps and BBR at least make real copies of the real thing. And as I mentioned, Luxmart did make these uh, real wheels at 1.2, but somehow they have reverted back to spark generic ones for this model. Another thing I think is better on the BBR are the uh, body panel lines. They look much nicer on the BBR and the rivet detailing is better too, as they have all been uh, colored in. They do feature too on the Luxmart, but they aren't as visible. The only panel line that I think is not too good, apart from the nose tip, is um, on the engine cover here. I think they're a bit too pronounced. The rear wing details then are better too on the BBR. It's the opposite situation from the uh, front wing. Here BBR did make a big cut for the upper flap and they also added these uh, dots in contrasting color. And this has been on the cars since uh, 2021 to help the FIA measuring the amount of rear wing flex. This is missing too on the Luxmart. The DRS then looks nicer too on the BBR. There's an extra element on it as opposed to the Austria version of the Luxmart. But the actuator is in this carbon fiber texture on the BBR and on the Luxmart is just uh, glossy black. The rear view of the model then is nicer on the BBR because of that uh, slit mainly in the rear wing elements. The crash structure attenuator then is a bit better on the BBR I think. As on the Luxmart it again looks as if it's been uh, added afterwards and is not one continuous piece. The lower rear wing elements on both models are equally good I'd say. And the same can be said about the big diffuser and these uh, brake duct elements, let's say, next to it. I have already mentioned the color difference in between the two models. It's hard to tell which one is more accurate as the difference is actually really minimal. What is clearly better though is the, uh, the decals on the BBR. The ones on the Luxmart suffer from the same problem Spark has with their own models they release under their own brand. Like on their Red Bull cars, Spark really struggles with the outlines of the decals on matte paint. These are clearly visible on the body and a bit too pronounced. 
And even here on the Ferrari, on the shark fin, the line connecting the black part and the driver's number has a bit of black color, it seems, seeping through on the decal outline. And this is where BBR streaks ahead for me. So after all that, what is the conclusion to be drawn? Which model is better in my opinion and why? Well, let me start by saying both models are actually very nice. If you wouldn't put them side by side, you would barely notice any difference. I don't think you can really go wrong either way. Both models have very nice details and a few minor flaws here and there. I'm also briefly going to mention the Burago and Amalgam efforts just to make this comparison video complete. The Burago is basically just a toy car. It's not as bad as they have been before, but I don't think they are anywhere near these two brands. At just a third of their price, it's quite a respectable model for any collectors on a budget though. The Amalgam Dam is supposed to be the best at a whopping 1050 euro. Aside from the very premium and luxurious display, the model is not better than either Luxmart or BBR I think. It doesn't even feature cutout slots in either the front or rear wing and it's lacking a driver figurine. Also the huge panel gap on the nose tip is unacceptable for a model in that price range. It even looks worse than it is on the BBR. Plus for the money they're asking, you can buy yourself a luxury BBR and Luxmart version from different races or different drivers and still have money left over to buy an upcoming Italian Grand Prix version too. In the end I did purchase this BBR model and got this Luxmart on loan to do this direct comparison. Is the BBR so much better than, than the Luxmart? Well, simply no. I just prefer the pluses on the BBR than the ones on the Luxmart. The things that did it for me were the same things that made me choose BBR ahead of Luxmart in the past as well. You have the wheel details, the cockpit details, the fact that it's slightly cheaper and I don't have to buy a display case that I'm not going to use. And then of course the decals were the final nail in the coffin for me. And even though I was at the beginning bothered a bit by the big panel gap on the nose of the BBR, it seemed this was a uh, fixable problem as opposed to the flaws on the Luxmart. To be fair though, I think this time around it's much closer than it has ever been before between these two brands. Just a quick side note then, but when I bought my model it actually had a missing decal on the barge board. I did have to go through a lot of different channels to set this right, there was a lot of emailing back and forth to find the right people to help me out. In the end the people of uh, racepassionstore.com where I bought the model from and the model car importer Homblé in Belgium, they managed to track down a set of decals from BBR so I could fix my model. In the meantime, I'll give a huge thumbs down to the people of BBR Model Store who were not helpful at all. They could have easily passed on my rightful complaint to the right person, but they were simply very rude and very unpleasant to deal with. And apparently I'm not the only one to have this negative experience. A quick Google search gives you plenty of reading material about their terrible service. So yeah, if I were you, I would avoid buying something there. So with that, what do you think of the Ferrari SF75? Did you like the car as much as I did? And which version would you buy, the BBR or Luxmart? And do you think I missed something? Let me know in the comments below. So that'll be it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember to check out the other videos as well if you like this one. And why not subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. See you soon and take care.